Welcome to the Verisys video series. My name is Rob Snauert. Today we're going to talk about the Smart Building Hub hardware and what the various ports are on the Smart Building Hub. Smart Building Hub is the, the device that connects up all of the Verisys components into the Verisys system. The Smart Building Hub, when you get it, get it out of the box, you'll have several things. You'll have a quick start guide, you'll have a cradle kit, you'll have a MSTP interface cord, as well as another MSTP interface cord, and I'll go through what each of those are used for. And you will also have a permanent power supply for the Smart Building Hub. So Smart Building Hub has three different ports on it. The first port is for your MSTP connection. So you can take either the permanent MSTP connection and connect it up and then take and wire it into your uh, Verisys system or your MSTP system. Or you can take the, I like to call it a spongy cord, and you can connect it up and then plug it into different devices that would have uh, bus connections on them. And then you can get a more localized uh, view of that particular device. When the other ports on the top of the smart building hub are the power port. So that's where we would plug in permanent power and the uh, ethernet port or IP port, which would connect into a building network. So that way you can get on a customer's network or put the smart building on the customer's network. So this particular spongy cord, when you use it and you connect into a zone coordinate or a a zone coordinator or another device, something that's got one of those plugs, it will draw power and it will power up the smart building hub. So you don't necessarily need the permanent power. However, if you're looking to connect using this cord and you want to use IP connection, you need to use permanent power. So you will need to power up the device with permanent power first. That will allow us to connect into the building network and then you can connect up using this device. But most likely you'll wire in your building with this on a permanent basis. That's just kind of the one rare instance where you could use this and make your connection. So on the other side of the smart building hub are the LEDs. The LEDs, when powered up, right now I do not have it powered up, but the power light would come on and it would be green. Then we also have a fault light. The fault light would be uh, a red blinking light. Let me go ahead and just start to get some of these power lights going. So you can see the power light just turned on. And then the fault light will come on as it boots up. There's a FC bus light, which is your field controller by bus. And that'll start blinking when we have a connection to a, a system. And then the Ethernet light. So if we had the Ethernet plug in, that light would come on. Here in a minute, the Wi-Fi lights will turn on. And that'll show that it's searching for a Wi-Fi signal that you're ready to connect this device up to a laptop or a phone or an iPad. So anyway, this will continue to boot up. And uh, this is a, the, the Smart Building Hub video. Thank you.